In this how-to video, I'll show you how to turn on a group of lights with a tap on your iPhone or your iPod Touch, running the iLink Pro app connected over Wi-Fi or 3G to the Insteon controller, the ISY, from Universal Devices. What we have in front of us is the web interface to the ISY with a number of devices already programmed into the ISY. For the demonstration today, what we're going to do is we're going to add a new scene called the Coming Home Scene and we're going to add a number of our inside lights and create a new light to add with the idea that when you pull into your driveway in the evening and the lights are all off in your house, you can take out your iPhone or your iPod Touch and run iLink Pro and turn on a number of your inside lights by activating the scene. So to get started, let's go ahead and create that new scene. We're going to call it Coming Home. Now the scene's empty right now. We need to add our devices that we want to group inside of this scene. So let's go ahead and select some of our existing devices here. We'll go ahead and select our dining room lights and add those. And in this scene, I want to add in some kitchen lights as well. We'll add in kitchen can lights. And the last light I want to add isn't added yet. So let's go ahead and add our new device. It's an office light. So we'll come up to the little light bulb icon here for a new device and we'll type in the address of our new device. And let the ISY go off and discover the device and add it. Now the name of the device isn't very friendly. We can go ahead and rename that. Let's name that something a little more friendly here, something like uh, our office light here. Okay, let's go ahead and add the office light to our scene. Now through the web interface, we can control this scene. So if you select the coming home scene, you can see our three devices listed here. And we can drive the scene by selecting on, off, fast on, fast off, bright or dim. We'll just turn it off, turn it on. There's some other adjustments we can make here as well. The dining room lights and the kitchen can lights are dimmer switches. And we can change their ramp rate. I prefer like two seconds or so to come on and off. We're going to make those adjustments. So now when you select on or off, the ramp rate of the light will be approximately two seconds to on and two seconds to off. The office light is an appliance switch, which means it's just on and off only. I can't adjust the ramp rate for it. So at this point, we're finished with the web interface. Let's go over to our iPhone and launch iLink Pro. Since this is the first time launching iLink Pro, iLink Pro will go out to the network and auto-discover any ISY devices that may be attached. In this case, it found my ISY device and is prompting us for the username and password. Since I haven't changed it from the default, we'll just leave it as admin, admin, and we'll go ahead and tap once for the username and tap OK for the password. At this point, iLink Pro connects to the ISY and syncs itself with the ISY by downloading all the devices and all of the scenes to its local database. Everything is synced right now, so let's go ahead and tap OK to dismiss both of these pop-ups. 
If I go under My Devices, you can see the number of devices here is the same as the web interface, including our new office light that we just created, some of those kitchen lights that we added to our scene. So if I go over to the web interface and I drive that coming home scene, you'll see the office light turn on and off. Right now everything's on, we'll turn it off and we'll turn back on. And as you noticed in the iLink Pro list of, of devices, you saw that the kitchen can lights and office light showed a real-time status of off and on when I selected off and on from the web interface. We can do the same thing from here if I select the office light and I can drive this light manually as well, turning it off and turning it back on. So let's set up iLink Pro so that it's a small number of taps to be able to activate our coming home scene. If we go under My Scenes and select the new coming home scene, I can change this to a favorite scene and back out to the main page. I've got it now listed under Favorite Scenes Coming Home. So when you launch iLink Pro, let's go ahead and demonstrate that. You can launch iLink Pro. It remembered our username and password, so everything is all synced up. I can just select the coming home scene and say, well, everything's on right now, so let's turn it off. Select the coming home scene, and we'll turn everything on. Thank you for watching this how-to video. For more information on iLink Pro, please visit www.mobileintegratedsolutions.com. Thanks.